Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to see about positive edge signal detection and negative edge signal detection. So there are two ways to do the same. Okay. So here we are having the set operand on positive edge signal. Uh, okay. So basically this instruction is used for positive edge detection and similarly this is used for negative edge detection okay so these are also the same blocks right so we'll be seeing one by one how to use this okay so let us discuss what is the meaning of positive and negative edge detection first okay so let us see how to hmm, make the logic also and first of all let us understand what is the meaning of positive and negative edge detection right so here if we are able to observe this is our mm, picture right so here we will be seeing what is uh, positive edge and negative edge so when you are pressing the input okay so initially suppose we are having a push button and initially it is in the zero state that means we are not pressed the push button right so initially it will be in the zero state now when you are pressing it so it will be going from zero to one state right so basically what is happening a transition from zero to one is happening that is we are going towards the positive direction so that is what we are having the positive edge right so similarly now we are in the high state right so suppose we are in the high state that is one okay now when you release the same okay so when you are releasing the push button right so automatically it will be going from one to zero state right so what will happen when you are releasing the same push button it will go from one to zero state that means what will happen we are having a negative edge okay so in this way when you are pressing we are going from positive uh, sorry from negative to positive that is from zero to one then we are having the positive edge similarly when you are going from one to zero we are having the negative edge okay so in this uh, lecture we are going to see how to use this signal right so what is the use of this signal okay how to use this positive edge detection and negative edge detection we'll be also looking at how to use this p triggering or positive edge triggering and negative edge triggering right so let us see how to use them in the logic okay so here we are having let us make some tags first okay okay so here the first tag required is our set input right so here we'll be having set and then we'll be having reset here okay so these are the two inputs right and similarly uh, we'll be having one led right let me take it as led that is the output okay so it will be q0.0 right now we'll be requiring two memory tags here why these are required that we'll be discussing later right so let me take it m0 dot uh, basically it is a memory so let me name it as memo1 okay and it will be having an address m0 dot 0 okay and similarly we will be having an address m0 dot uh, basically it will be memo2 okay so in this way we are having this one so all the text whatever required in our logic all are ready now so we'll be making the logic right so what is required is first of all we'll be seeing this input instructions okay so positive edge and negative edge detection okay so what we'll be requiring is one output here oh sorry we'll be requiring a set output so we'll be taking this one i'll be requiring this one okay so i'll be giving the address as q0.0 here okay similarly we'll be requiring a reset here okay so here we'll be requiring reset so that is again the same address q0.0 okay so what we'll do is i'll having i'll be having here mm, this input say this one this input here and we'll be requiring a negative edge of detection for reset right so we'll be setting and resetting the instructions using this 
positive edge and negative edge detection instructions right so here one thing if you are able to observe we have two inputs okay so basically it requires two two addresses one of the input that is our push buttons input okay so it will be it will be direct input suppose it is i0.0 suppose you know now similarly here also will be having some input okay so what the what is the requirement of another input okay so here will be having this memory tag whatever we have taken right so we will be requiring this memory addresses here so what uh, will happen now it will be used for storing the previous state of this uh, instruction right so this input right so let us take first uh, input so this is our first input okay and this is our memory okay so what will happen is it will store this memory bit memory address will store the state of this input i0.0 okay similarly this also okay here will be requiring uh, i0.1 for reset oh, sorry this is one okay and here will be requiring m0.1 okay in this way so okay two it is okay right uh, m0.1 that is memo two right now so what we'll be doing is now we'll be downloading the logic okay after downloading i'll be going in the online mode here okay after going to online mode i'll be monitoring the logic right so now let us observe what is going to happen in this logic right so here we are having all the three inputs right whatever required okay now what we'll do is i'll be giving this address i'll be pressing this input okay so that is we are pressing the push button i0.0 so it will be going from 0 to 1 state so actually this instruction it is basically i will be pressing this i0.0 so it is uh, what it is a positive edge detection signal so it will detect the positive edge that means a transition from 0 to 1 will be detected by this signal uh, this address right uh, this uh, instruction right so i am just pressing this push button okay so i have pressed this push button and it has detected the signal okay so that is why the led led is in the high state okay so if you are able to observe this led is in the high state now because it has detected the positive edge that is a transition from zero to one state right now i am releasing this one still the output will be in the high state because we have used the set instruction here right now what we'll do is i'll be giving a reset here okay so basically another input c here if you are able to observe this is our reset okay so basically this is our another input and it is negative edge detection instruction okay so when you are pressing that means when you are going from zero to one state so when you are pressing this one nothing is going to happen because it has detected the positive edge but our signal but our instruction has to detect the negative edge right so we have given what we have given the positive edge at for the moment right okay so here now when you are pressing this one still nothing is going to happen it is see here if you are able to observe this output is in not reset state it is not a turned off because this signal this instruction has not detected the negative edge it has uh, seen the positive edge whenever it will see the negative edge then only that means when you are releasing this one then only the output that is the set input will be in the low state okay so basically this output q0.0 will be in the low state so let us see when you are releasing this one see here the output is in the low state so this is how we are using this positive edge and negative edge detection here now let us see how to use the blocks right in place of this uh, instructions how to use the same blocks positive edge triggering blocks and negative edge triggering blocks okay so here i am just going in the offline mode okay after going in the offline mode i'll be just deleting this inputs right after deleting i'll be going here and will be pressing it pasting and uh, taking it here similarly I'll be taking it here right so we have taken this set as well as reset now now i'll be pressing i'll be taking 
the same addresses what is the requirement uh, set input is required here and the reset input is required okay so set as well as reset input is required and here we'll be having positive edge okay so basically we'll be taking a block so that is positive edge block okay it will be detecting so let us reverse the same right so i am just reversing okay so i am taking it here first here right so the posit, uh, positive edge will be detected by the uh, this instruction right and for setting we will be taking we will be taking this negative edge triggering right now this is our memory right so q0 m0.0 will be our memory and this is m0.1 right m0.1 okay so in this way we have done now now i'll just download this okay download and load okay after downloading and loading i will be going in the online mode okay after going to the online mode i'll just monitor it right okay after doing this now let us observe it this in the table here okay so what is the requirement this output will be in the set state when he, it is uh, when this uh, instruction is detecting the negative edge that means negative edge of this address i0.1 so when you are pressing it the output will not set see here when you are pressing it nothing is going to happen see here the signal is going but it is not detecting because it is a negative edge de detecting signal uh, detecting instruction right so when you are releasing it that means it will see the negative edge because uh, 0 to 1 was the positive edge and from now 1 to 0 is the negative edge so i am releasing it see here it has detected the negative edge and the output is in the high state see here now the output is in the high state now we'll be seeing how this positive edge is going to affect this output okay so this positive edge triggering signal is going to affect so when you are pressing this one so directly it will be in the off state see okay so in this way we are able to use this positive edge triggering as well as negative edge triggering along with this set and reset right okay so remaining things we will be seeing in the next lecture